today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with my last app update and like a recap of my low by year and if you didn't know I have had a low by year on in the whole 2019 it feels like I'm repeating myself but this is soon going to be the end of the repeating with that sentence so I am doing my update my last update and recap what I have how I have felt about the year with my low buy and everything and I know this is coming a little bit late that's just how it is right now so yeah I am not going to show any products that I bought during October November and December because I'm doing a whole video after this I think so I may have the same makeup in quite a lot of videos so I'm doing a big haul video so I didn't want to include them in this one I have wrote some things down somewhere in my little bullet journaling about some thoughts I have and some things I want to talk about and if you don't like babbling videos share the videos about low buy you maybe shouldn't watch this video maybe it doesn't get too long I don't know but okay how did I do it? Did I succeed? Yes, I did. Woo! Um, I feel though maybe some people don't think that I succeeded, and if you if you watch my haul, you will understand why. But I set up some rules for myself. I will leave them down in the description. I don't have them in my head, and also. I think it was in my last update I was like I have been really good in the beginning of the year I would say the year even though it's 2020 now but I'm talking about 2019 uh, I was really good in the beginning and like maybe buying just one item one month and it was in June I think I didn't buy any new makeup at all and then it I bought more and more and more but then I was like okay the year has 12 months and I can buy three items per month and 12 times 3 is 36 so I can buy 36 makeup products on one year and in that frame I succeeded I know that some other people that has low buy did include PR in their rules. I didn't do it because I never thought that I was going to receive any PR but I have actually done that. I received PR from Kaleido and what I think I feel like it is your own low buy. It was my own low buy and I am the one that is going to like follow the rules. Not you, none of you, it's only me. So I set the rules and I am like what's okay with the rules and my biggest thing I got I had like two big things that I wanted to why the reason why the reason why I did my low by year one of them was because I was overwhelmed with all the products I had I didn't feel that I used the products I have as much as I wanted to and it made me stressed about just looking at the pile with new eyeshadow palettes to try just growing and growing and growing that stressed me out a little bit and also the fact that I wanted to save money because me and my boyfriend we are saving up for buying a house and to spend money on makeup is not like an investment in that way not for me at least because I still do my normal job as well I don't earn anything from YouTube so I don't invest in my channel in that sense so I wanted to not feel stressed to look at my makeup and I wanted to save money I think I have saved more money I have no idea I maybe should have looked this up but I'm not stressed anymore but okay I haven't like gone into my notes at all but we can start with, I don't know, maybe this one. Will I continue this year? No, I will not. I have no plans at it. 
but I feel like I'm not going back to how I were before not yet at least uh, it's only like the middle of January maybe I fall back but I don't feel the same urge when something new comes I I can see something and like yeah I would want that but it's nothing I don't have at home and I feel that that is a big difference like a couple of days ago Jessica was going to order from Pop and asked if I wanted to order something and I took like I took two lipsticks one that I have wanted for a really really long time but then I took products that I don't have but I want to try I took two stick products a blush stick and a highlighting stick and that's nothing that I have too many of I have one highlight highlighting stick I know for like before my low by year I would like I want that palette and that palette and that palette and that palette but now no so I have changed I think and I was a little bit afraid when like my low by year stopped that I was going to go crazy on beauty bay have not i think i have only bought these four things from colourpop and foundation after my low buy ended so that maybe says a little bit and i don't feel that i have felt any fomo this year or that i have missed out on anything and that's i think if you're going to do a low buy set up rules that you think you can manage i know from start that i would never going to be able to do a no buy because i just know that i have tried it went like shit uh, but a low buy with three items per month is better for me because then i can save my purchase for things that i want to buy so i haven't felt any fomo haven't liked feel that I missed out on anything so that feels really good and I have bought I have been able to buy the things that I really want to not do red lipsticks but I can live with that and one thing I feel that I want to do more this year is to use products I have more and I'm going to try to do I've started once here that palette of the month where I take an older palette and use it two or three times a month because normally I don't do that. I don't, it's not that often that I go back to an older palette, but I will really try to do this, do that this year because I know a lot of you have the same palette and just because the palette isn't new doesn't mean it's boring. If you maybe don't have a review channel, but I do not have a review channel, so for me it doesn't matter. And I know that me myself, I like to watch palettes, people doing makeup with palettes that are not new, so why shouldn't I do it myself? So I'm going to start to do that, and I'm also going to try to do a shop my stash. And I really want to use my collection more because it felt like 2018. And also 2019, I built my collection that I'm really happy with it. And I really want to use the things that I have. So that's, maybe I don't know if I have learned that, but I really want to use the things I have. And feel joy about the things I have. And that, I felt that my low by year, it made me more like happy to buy product. You know that like you order something and you're so exciting excited about it and get back home you open the palette and you try it and you just feel happy i have really felt that during my low buy and that was a feeling i wanted to go back to because before that when i just bought and bought and bought and bought and bought and bought and bought new makeup i didn't felt it anymore it was like too much at the same time it was like overwhelming for me but that i think 
it's gone. I don't feel overwhelmed when I look at my collection anymore. Even though I have more palettes now than I had a year ago. But I feel more happy when I look at my makeup collection. And it feels like I give the most of my palettes the love they deserve. Not all of them. Far from all of them. But more palettes. So that I am really happy about that has come out from this low buy. And yeah. And I'm also really happy that I have done this. And I'm so happy that I succeeded. It felt amazing that I did it. And I don't have shared that much that I have. I don't think I have had a shopping addiction. It hasn't been that bad. But I didn't have a normal and good relationship with buying makeup. And it feels like I have that now. Now I think a little bit and I'm going back to my own collection to see do I have something that is similar to this one and that feels really really good and I haven't bought that many lipsticks last year and that feels amazing because I have really really much lipstick and I have for like do I recommend you to do a low buy and yes I do if you feel that you have maybe lost a little bit control or feeling overwhelmed or not happy when you sit down and look at your makeup then I feel that a low buy is for you because it shouldn't be you should be happy to play with makeup is fun and it should make you happy and if you doesn't do that something is wrong so if you have those feeling try to do a low buy you don't have to go a full year if you don't feel like you can do it, don't do it. Don't push yourself too hard. Maybe you should just try one month or two months or three months. And if it goes good these three months, just take a month more. You don't have to set like, okay, I'm going to do a whole year. Because a whole year is a long time. And it really, it's much. It's a really long time and people that are doing a no buy for a whole year, I like, how the hell? How can you succeed with this? I am so impressed. And I think maybe that is all I want to talk about. I always feel like so confused in this video so I'm just sitting down and talk. Because I can't like remember what I said and I can't remember. Okay, did I say everything I wanted? If I have any tips for somebody that wants to do this. I don't know if it was a good or bad thing to start the 1st of January. I did it and one thing I thought was like good then was that when Black Friday came in November I was like I had been on my low by such a long time so I didn't have like FOMO and the urge to buy and like oh I want it because it's sale on it I think if I would have started like in October that Black Friday would have been really really hard for me but I only had two months left and I was like I'm not going to fall here I'm not going to buy too many things when I'm so close to the goal and I am like that <laughs> that's the kind of person I am if I'm close to reaching the goal, I like a going to fix this. So that was good for me. For me it was good to start in January. So when Black Friday came I was like almost done and like... So that felt really good for me. I know that it doesn't work for everybody. I know that. But for me it worked really good. And I think maybe that was all I wanted to talk about in this video. And now I think this is going to be the last low buy video on my channel. Except for my haul that's maybe going to be a little bit about low buy. But yeah, I am happy that I did it. I am happy that I succeeded. I am happy with it. 2019 and I... 
I hope that you doesn't feel that that has affected my channel. I feel that it hasn't because I still have bought some new products and I have gained a lot of subscribers during the past year and also my I like the interaction has been more so I don't feel that you have been affected by this and I know that this year maybe bought things like a normal person. I know that I buy a little bit more because of my YouTube channel but also I have a big interest in makeup. But maybe I have been like more a normal person <laughs> during my low by year. So yeah, that was all I think. I really hope you liked this video. I'm sorry about being all over and that's just how I am. I think I just have to accept that. That's who I am and if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you do not. I'm not going to change. So yeah, I really hope you like this video and are somebody on you of you on a low buy this year or are you thinking about doing it? How is it going for you? It has gone a couple of weeks now if you started <laughs> in the beginning of the year. So yeah, I really hope you like this video. If you want to see something more with this or if I just should leave it, I think I just should leave it. No more low buy talk on this channel from now on. But if you want something more, please let me know. We can chat in the comments if you have some questions or anything. But yeah, I really hope you like this and I really hope if that you if you're doing a low buy that you succeed this year and I can be your low buy coach if you want to. I'm not good at coaching but I can try. So yeah, I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!